All right, good afternoon, folks. Jason Brustad here with you again in the Lucas Organizational Performance Training Team. Hey, today we're going to trade our helmets for some other hats, and we're going to hit the waterways to operational excellence. Many of you probably enjoy boating and time on the water, and certainly the distractions of having fun or looking forward to that uh, can come into play in a negative way. Uh, we're going to look at some of the ways here today on how to kind of reduce some of the potential errors that exist out there. So join me as we do a walk around and kind of talk about a few of the things that help reduce our chances for air and increase our chance for performance on the water and fun as well. All right, folks, we're ready to head out uh, down to the boat launch here. So once again, what works for me may or may not work for you. The key takeaway here is to develop your own way of how you go through and check before you head out on the road. That way you can reduce your uh, potential uh, margin for air and have a fun time on the water. Once again, let's take a quick, quick review of what we've done here. So starting at the truck, I'm gonna work my way top to bottom forward to aft. Trailer lights good. I've already tested those in the back. Make sure they're operational. Both blinkers, brakes, reverse, and turn signals. Coming down, I'll check my hitch pin. Make sure that I've got my cotter key. Hopefully you can see that okay. Both safety straps are connected. Working my way down, we've got both pins in my particular hitch. One has a cotter key, the other is locked. The hitch cover is down, engaged with the detent locking pin. Everything's looking clean here for my swing away or breakaway tongue. I also have a pin with the key that I've double checked to make secure. We're gonna come back up to our boat strap. Here I'm a little bit off. I've got enough weight in the boat that typically it's harder, hard Typically, it's very difficult to get the boat all the way up without coming back, uh, especially depending on the steepness of the boat ramp. That's why, for one main reason, I have this retention strap in the event this breaks. Down here, my trailer tongue jack is up and stowed, locked. We're gonna do a quick walk around once again. We're good with our wheels, good with our guide on bar. My wedge up and locked, straps are tight, running gear is clean, no obstructions underneath. Come back around, gonna do the same thing, cleats are recessed, tires are good, spare tires secured, we're ready to go, we'll see you down at the launch. As any avid recreational enthusiast knows, preparing for, getting to, and the sheer anticipation of having a great time while enjoying your favorite pastime can, in and of itself, be a distraction. How many of you snow skiers out there were so excited to hit the freshly covered slopes you forgot your gloves, goggles, poles, or worse, at home and didn't realize it until you got to the resort? Or what about you mountain bikers? How many of you have loaded up your iron horses onto the roof racks of your cars at home and then forgot about the self-imposed height limit as you made your way to the trails because you were distracted with the thoughts of a thrilling ride? Well, boaters share a similar passion of heading out and having fun on the water. And well, we've managed to drop a few things over the side while in the process of getting there. Some of us have flat out fallen off the dock because we tripped over the same error-related obstacles that are buried like landmines along the beaten path of distractions. I've traveled it more often than I'd like. Having fun, regardless of your favorite activity, is essential to recharging your batteries and certainly helps in counteracting some of the tougher times life is almost guaranteed to bring. The anticipation of having good times with great friends often leads us to think about the future when our minds would do much better thinking about the present. For boaters, a common but critically required item that makes any boater mistake or marine preventable disasters list is that crazy little device we call a drain plug. Motorcyclists say there are two kinds of riders, those who've gone down and those who will. Well, boaters have a similar saying, those who've forgotten the drain plug and those who will. All right, folks, here we are at the launch. Everyone has their own positions that they normally do. That way we kind of keep each other accounted for. One of the biggest problems in boating, the infamous drain plug. I like to keep mine uninstalled between uh, leaving the water and coming back in, so that's the first thing I do when I get to the launch. So we're going to get that puppy in there. There they are. 
Always a bad time to remember you forgot your plug once you're in the water. All right, at this point, I'm gonna disconnect my straps. Since I have a preventer up front, I know I won't be at risk of having the boat slide off on a steeper launch. Regardless of your favorite pastime, there are probably a number of things that you typically do and take care of prior to getting there and engaging in that fun we all enjoy. Develop your own waterway, trailway, or roadway to recreational excellence in ways that specifically help you eliminate the inherent distractions that come with the anticipation of having a great time with family or friends. Whatever that looks like or works best for you. Maybe it's a small little checklist to go by. Maybe it's having a family member peer check what you've done. Or maybe it's some other system like, say, attaching a boat plug to your trailer winch or steering wheel so you don't launch without a simple reminder saying, Hey, did you install me? To learn more about distractions, how they impact your performance at work and at life, visit the Lucas OPT website at lucasopt.com.